They're making the cow pregnant. Oh, they take the semen, they put this in a female cow, because a cow has to have what to, to give milk? A baby milk. Yeah. Just like us. They take the baby straight away. Why do they do this? To make them producing more milk. Yeah? Because the baby drinks the milk. They want to keep the milk for humans. Yeah, that's fine. They're male calves that have been discarded from the dairy industry. The dairy industry Ooh, uh -huh. send them to be killed. This is for milk, cheese, yeah. yogurt. These are baby cows. They kill the boys because the boys don't produce milk. These are the bambina. They can make latte. So they will they use them for their milk. They lock them in. Yeah, they put them in these milking things about two or three times a day and they basically milk and dry them when they can't produce enough milk. They send them on a truck to live out their life on a sanctuary. Slaughter. Deal. They kill them. Oh, yeah. Latte kills animals. When they stop giving milk, they will kill her for a burger. This is a dairy cow. Uh, she was not. She's not there. She's alive. They kill the mother. They kill them when they're alive. Sometimes the bolt doesn't work. Do you think this is okay? So we can have burger? No. Nah. I'm showing people what happens to animals in the meat, dairy and egg industries across the UK. This is a chicken farm here. They cannibalizing each other here. This is very common in, in farms in the UK. I'm just basically showing the public what the industry don't show them. You look like you in a couple of these videos. Yeah, I go into farms myself with a camera. Did you put cameras there with their consent or without their consent? Without their consent, because oh, if they know it. they're there, mm. they won't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. The truth. yeah, it's terrible. If they know you're going to come, then they clean it up. But if you put cameras when they're not ready, then you see the reality. And they hide this reality from the public who have good hearts and they say it's all green grass, free range, humane. We put cameras, different story. Shouldn't they, like, with the um, advertisement, all uh, fields with the uh, animals and everything? They trick you. Do you know there's actually CCTV in UK slaughterhouses now, but the public don't get access to that footage? They want to keep it away from us, don't they? Because it's a business. And they tell the public it's all green grass and pastures and it's humane and we love our animals. No, it's a business. They're making money off them they don't care about these animals they abuse them torture them kill them and chop them up and sell them to the public and put a humane label on it and we're trying to dispel that myth and show the public the truth that's what they do to the piglets they cut their tails so they don't it's horrible this pig here has been gassed to death gas chamber gas chamber and they're, they're suffer suffering it burns them it burns their nose and their eyes and they scream when you breathe it in it makes you scared because your body wants oxygen. What is this? Uh, Electric. Shock. Electric shock. So what do you think about what you're seeing on the screens here? I mean, it looks pretty bad. It does look pretty barbaric. I've seen people kicking animals, mishandling the animals even. Yeah, let's just say they removed the kicks and the mishandling, but they raised them in these farms and they sent them to a slaughterhouse to cut their head off and chop them up into pieces. If you remove the other abusive elements, mm -hmm. would you think it's okay then? It's a good question. I mean, not 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 to be kept in such confined conditions, but obviously people want to eat meat. But do you think because people want to eat meat, that justifies what happens to these animals to get the meat? No, no hey. of course not. Any any suffering of this, and, and some it just feels unnecessary. I've got to be honest. It actually feels like I mean it's almost sadistic. They put them in factories to meet the demand because the demand is high. They need to put them in factories. Otherwise, they couldn't supply. Sad. But let's just say they're out on the grass having a happy life. Do you think it's okay to kill happy animals? No, it's not. No, it's not okay to yeah. kill happy animals. But there's not like a way to. Um... It's, it's bad to say, but kill them without them suffering. Do we have to kill them? It's surviving. We all have always said, like... Yeah, but will you survive without eating pigs or, or meat? I don't think... Uh, will you survive? Not your population can survive without... Can you? No, I don't think so. Wow. Yeah, I never tried, but maybe... Okay. Yes, maybe yeah. Do you like animals? Yeah, I ride horses. Yeah. Imagine if they did this to a horse. Yeah, I'm vegan. Are you a vegan? I'm vegan. Yes. So am I. Oh, that's good. Yeah, right. I've been vegan 10 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. I was vegan some uh, years ago. Why did you stop? Because my father is a butcher. Oh, and he... he forced you? Yeah. But you can not make a choice? I'm 15, I live with him. I get you, but you don't want to. No, I was vegan and I loved being vegan. Are you a vegan? 
So then you're our target audience. Everyone needs to remember that we can't place blame on the business that's supplying the customer. The business is only in business because of the customer. So the customer needs to remove their support and be vegan. When you take these products off of the shelf, animals get abused and killed because of us. So it's a supply and demand system. So if you don't want her to support this, you should be a vegan. When you're a vegan, you've made a personal protest. And over the course of your life, you don't want these animals to be harmed and exploited and executed for you. Yeah, it's true. So that's why when you go vegan, you don't have that blood on your hands. When you didn't know, you didn't have the same responsibility. Now you do know, now you have the responsibility to act. Do you feel betrayed that you pay for this? Yeah, I do. And I think these, feel lied to? these people should be prosecuted, shouldn't they? So why aren't you vegan? Tell me. Oh, I've enjoyed meat for a long time. Never really felt that. Yeah, um, yeah, that's just awful. It's a good question, I suppose, weakness for me, but this is really is terrible, appalling. My, my sister and my mum are vegan. Funny, funny enough, they are. Do you believe that animals deserve rights? Well, yeah, I mean, what we saw, what we saw was disgraceful, I like mean. real rights? I mean, like, no, rights not to be murdered for food? Well, the NSPCC are overseeing all this stuff anyway, aren't they? RSPCA. RSPCA. Yeah, they're, in bed Sorry, with the they're in bed with the meat industry as well. Yeah, but they're RSPCA coming. The they don't care about animals. Look, look, animals. Look, Come look. On. They'll put their stand on meat from animals that are slaughtered in slaughterhouses and then say they care about animals. Point. If they put a stamp on, they say, we care about dogs, we rescue them, then we yeah. butcher them yeah. and put our stamp on them. Would you say they care about dogs? It's funny, because when it comes to dogs and cats, people take that abuse serious, because if these animals, they don't even think about them. as farm animals. They're sentient, just like dogs and cats. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Like, they want to live just the same. Yeah. You see, now you're getting into an interesting area, because, now, I see, I don't know enough about it, but I think there are organisations that care about dogs, and they get the dogs and they put them to sleep yeah. and kill them. I get what you're saying yeah. there. Do you they that? euthanise dogs in certain situations, but not chop the head off to eat them. So that's why we rescue uh, dogs and we don't support breeders because of the euthanasia aspect of like dog rescue. So we don't create the demand for dog uh, puppy meals either. But yeah. eating meat, you don't have to do it. Your family's vegan. Yeah. You're against this. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. Don't eat meat. Whatever excuses we make is not good enough for the animals. We have our freedom. We have privilege. We can find different food. The animals have no freedom. They're killed so we can have five minute manjare. They lose their entire life. I'm glad that you're happy that you're vegan. And you're, you're a vegan to be as well. Yeah, vegan to be. Because you don't be vegan for me or you. You be vegan for the animals. It's a selfless act. So if you think of veganism, right, as I was doing something harmful to the animals and now I've stopped, it's neutral. Yeah. You've stopped paying for this horrible thing. What I do is activism. It's like, now I'm going to try to help them. It's another step further. So I'm helping them through talking to people to have other people stop. And one day after you've stopped, maybe you can also help animals and get other people to stop. Yeah, and then it, spread. demand comes down. We can destroy industries through demand. And they know that. That's why they're fighting back so hard. The, the consumer has all the power. Yeah. Yeah, we need to stop this, honestly. So what we need to do is get enough people on board, then we can change a law yeah. and make it illegal and give animals rights. Yes. Like fundamental rights, protecting them like humans have. So you can't kill a human, you can't, it's murder. Animals don't have yeah, rights. Yeah. There's welfare guidelines, but no rights. When we see animals like food, when we see eggs like product, we disrespect the animals. This isn't for us. This is their body. This is their egg. This is their latte. Not for us. Yeah. You're right. How do you say respect in Italian? Rispetto. Rispetto. Yeah. Animale. By being a vegano. Can I offer you this? It's just uh, it's just got some info on there for you. Apps, where to eat, where you find vegan stuff here. So you use Happy Cow? Anywhere in the world, right? Where you go. It'll just show you where all the vegan stuff is, vegan options. Oh. You can get so much vegan stuff here, it's really easy. In Italy, you find vegan options yeah, in the supermarket can. easy. It's very hard for animals. Easy for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for showing us this. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you very much. Bless you, take care. See you later. Thank you. God bless you, take care. Some people do watch it and they forget about it, but I hope they make a change. I gave them all the information they needed. It's horrible to watch. Let's face it, like, as an activist, you watch it day in, day out, day in, day out, but not good to see it for the first time. It's like, wow, what is going on?